Previously on the RTG. Come on! Is he onside? Hello and welcome back to the Ultra RTG. And do you ever get it where you sit there and want to grind out FIFA? No? All right, just me then. I don't usually play all of my weekend league games before the Sunday, but Saturday I was feeling good and I decided to play all my matches. And you're about to see the outcome, the aftermath. You're going to like this one. Thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Make sure you're clicking that bell. Do not miss the content. Half two every single day. And let's go. So as you would have seen in the last episode, we had patched the team together. I didn't want to fully commit into an expensive buy for them just to drop instantly. But Fellaini was on the bench. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was on the bench. If he's not going to have success at Man United, he's got the sack, by the way. He's going to have success in this starting 11. Or did he? Let's find out. These teams are insane. But have they really? Like, I don't know. Maybe because they've made it harder for casuals to get into foot champs. So now it's a little bit more competitive. Oh, that is a pass though. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's so clumsy sometimes. But he had some nice skill on the wing. Hold. This Chesney's good, you know. Messi. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, Messi. I think I should have had a goal in this game though. Bamba over the top. That's not going to drop. What is he doing? Bloody idiot, mate. Bloody idiot. Another one. Come on, boys. <sighs> oh, what a pass. Is he onside? Yeah. GG, I guess he's onside. Oh, man. Good block. Don't know where Lloris is going. Throw it middle, middle, middle. Come on, boys. We've got more runners. I'll be to his feet. Go on, Leonel. I thought I saw him there. Leonel again. Kulusevsky! Damn! Kulusevsky! Get in there! I should never have dropped him from our starting 11, though. Oh my god, no. How have I screwed up that bad? Oh, I'm embarrassed. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm all good. Kulusevsky! Last game was a mega team, and this one is pretty close. Kulazevsky, you're using the secret weapon against me? Oh, I should have committed. I even felt like he was going to go past that way. He should have committed. Nice for Fana. Good take. Oh, I love that pass. Pit oh, could have been a pen. Fakir? Come on, Fakir, man. He's going to get dropped soon. Which way is he going? Good block. No, 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 no. Stop with that. That's bad. He's going to get me again. Come on. Clumsy ass. That is good. Oh, good dribbling, though, from him. I give him that. That's nice control from Kulazewski, but very clumsy defensively there from Rudiger. Should have got that out of his feet. Go, 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 Kulazewski. My Kulazewski. Nice. Fakir. Uh, I've got already screwed up. Good save. Mess, messed up my defending. Wow. Yep. All right, boys. Third game of the night. Fernando Torres. That's a different side, though. Like to cancel it, and I've gone for a cross in the end. Oh, man. I'm a bottle job. <gasps> what have I just scored? Fuck here! That's outrageous! Go on, Messi. That's it. That's what I need. I need someone like a maestro on the ball. Messi on the edge. Spin him. Get in there, Messi. 2 0 in our bounce back game. Beautiful. RBA. Fuck here. Oh my god. He's gone. We're going in. Mbappe, Kante. That's just foot champs tradition. Right, hold. Messi, good, good movement. Sweet movement. Pass it again. Quickly. Fofana. Wake up. 
Bamba, I love that. Double tap. Yes. Oh, Klaus, cheeky. Cheeky. Nice. Good on you, Klaus. He's been our best player this weekend. There's no doubt about it. We're both misplacing passes. That's gone through him. Jeez, what is this game right now? Dink. Gorgeous. Oh, dirty goal. And that all came from Messi. Another game in foot champions. He's got all the right meta cards. If we had a little bit more quality from Messi there, that's going to be a good chance for Vinicius. But Fana, I like that tracking though. Double tap. Get in. Oh. Oh. It's all right, Klaus. Come on, we have to be getting a result against him. He hasn't really done that much. Got me here again. That's a great pass. Good ball. That was a nice ball. The pressure. It's a bad touch. You got Solskjaer! Solskjaer! That's the first one. Bring in an elite finisher. RBA. Nah. Relax. What a pass. Oof. What a ball. Back to Fofana. Wonderful pass. Alexander Arnold. It's promising from the Foxes. Whoa! Hold on. Oh, it's another goal. Oh. Oh, we've still got time. I, I, need, I need more, like, options. They're just... I don't know what they're doing. Lionel. Lionel, some player. Some strike. Get in there. 2-0 down. 2-2. Two, 4-2 two. Four, two down. 4-4. Four, four. He's opened up. It... So I'm still on constant pressure. So what we don't do is let losses define us. For whatever reason, I felt like I wanted to continue and grind out the game. Like I said at the start of the episode, I was in the mood to play FIFA and I cannot wait until Icon Swaps to continue this grind and progress the account. But what you're gonna be seeing now is just one of the games I wanted to take so I could come over it because a chain of events is going down. What player, what free player has come into this starting 11 and changed literally everything? Fellaini. And I know some of you will argue and say that the SBC Fakir was the best, but was he a free card? I don't think so. Fellaini was free, and he is no doubt in my mind one of the best free cards that you could have unlocked on FIBA 22 so far. Even last weekend, we had a very good performance, but we fell short at the end. We were like 14 and 2, or like 13 and 2, something like that. But this time around, I found some form. And if you're going to ask me, like, Fuj, how was it for you yesterday? You're making it all look so easy. Oh, it wasn't. Trust me, it was difficult. But win after win after win set us up for the very last game to clutch up for rank one. Oh, right, here we go, boys. We win this rank one. Different breed. But now is the time to go to the bench. This looks more than decent. Why is it always? Come on! Why is it always going to a centre back? Free ball. Oh. Borrow, borrow, borrow! I had gone through my toe. Amavi. Now Messi. And Neymar has done it. Nice goal in the ends. Double tap. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Come on. Good composure that. Yes. And that's an important intervention. Good power pass. Do they mean business on this occasion? Back here. And a goal it is. What a goal. As you can see, the host really dictated the play. Had 
Nice, Messi. Get in there. Good play all round. Red Mbappe. Shakiri. I'll take that for Forda. Give me Forda right now or Mbappe. Ugh. This team of the week is rotten. Bit of Johnny. It's already predetermined what I'm going to get. And it's Mbappe. Ooh, I got Sa. Uh, it'd be all right, him. We save these two for the best of. All that we need is literally one card out of the best of for like 200k, 300k, and that's a W. Obviously, a really nice player. Hey. But we open this. Oh, my pack time. Let's go. Last week, the week before, nothing. This week, an 84. Thank you very much, EA. Rank one on the RTG with a very dodgy team. Like Renato Sanchez was playing a few of those games this weekend. Subbed him out quick time though towards the end. And Fellaini did make that all important impact. But up top, I wasn't really feeling natural with Fakir. Messi was great though. And Klaus, big thumbs up for him. He really did prove his worth. In one of the matches though, it was some dodginess where I tried to clear it and he just spun around and plopped on the ground. But other than that, he has a really big thumbs up of approval. But what I did after the foot champ session is I've been starting the bronze pack method grind. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to do it for, but these are just some of the best players that we have packed. And I've added quite a lot of those MLS cards, Liga Mex to the account. And what we're going to be doing over the next few days is just farm that SBC for one fodder. So then we could possibly put that towards the icon or whatever we decide to do with it. But maybe potentially pull some really nice cards for our starting 11 or tradable ones. Friday, when they release the best of, because you know Black Friday is going down, these two premium Team of the Week packs are going to be saved. Because I remember last weekend I was speaking to someone and we both had like, I think it was Elite 1 or Elite 3 rewards. When I opened my packs, I didn't get anything. He saved his and packed Inform Mane. So I'm not going to be making the same mistake again. These are being saved for when the best players are available. And if we could make like in total 300 to 500,000 coins, that is going to be massive for the account. You know, you're going to laugh at me right now. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, although we were subbing him off the bench and he only scored two goals and did miss some sitters, I want to try him in very nice gameplay and on full chemistry. And we're going to be using him in the playoffs uh, later today. But Fellaini, I think, is a must to get back into this team somehow, some way. Fofana really did play well towards the end, dodgy passing, but I can't really point the blame at him. Rudiger, exceptional as always. And Messi, he's come down a little bit, right? We bought him for 425,000. And he did sort of play false nine. He got some important goals, but he really was playing as that assister, which is fine if I have like a proper go-to striker that I like. And Fakir is a bit off and on at times, but he's come down to 375,000 coins, which is just, it's pretty disgusting how low the market is going to get from now until Black Friday. Surely you're going to see a bit of a rebound, but even if we take the loss there, um, other players have come down. So it's just the way it is. But Kulazeski played well. And overall, we had a really nice session. Just comboed so many wins. And I just don't know why I continue playing. I was Like I say, I was just in the mood to grind it out. And we have really set up the account for an awesome week ahead with icon swaps, potentially Black Friday promo, save team of the week packs. It is looking good. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure you drop it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. If you are new to the channel and you like my content and you've just stumbled across it today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And more importantly, click the bell. You've got to hit that bell. Otherwise, when the videos don't go in the recommended, you won't see them. So if you hit that bell, you're going to get notified when the videos are up on the channel. But thank you for watching. Let me know how you got on. Are you struggling to get into foot champs, by the way? Or are you casually playing still? I'm so happy that we got rank one back at the top, kind of. But thanks for watching. See you tomorrow at half two. Thumbs up. See you soon. Team out. Peace.